A few days ago, I was at university where I completed my undergraduate program and I was approached by a certain woman. She seemed to be in her 50s. We were very close to a building called TEC that contained offices and rooms that served as temporary accommodation for visiting professors and other dignitaries that visited the university. She asked me where the Crowd1 office was located and in my mind I was like, hold up a second. Are you talking about the same Crowd1 my mind is thinking? Because first of all, I never knew that Crowd1 would have an office in a university environment. Anyway, Crowd1 was a global Ponzi scheme that just recently crashed and devastated a lot of people. Sure, it did make a couple of people rich, but it robbed way more people. And mostly, the people robbed were middle class or poor people. At this point, I wasn't sure whether or not I and this woman were referring to the same scheme. So I probed. I asked her, are you asking me about the MLM company that involves a registration fee and involves you bringing in people? She replied in the affirmative. I had to use the word MLM because that's what most people would know it as. But in reality, there were no products or services in Crowd1. They kept things vague and they promised a luxurious lifestyle once you join. From all the questions I asked the woman, I realized she had invested quite a substantial amount of money in hopes of changing her financial situation. And she looked terribly worried. From the way I was looking at her, she surely was going to break down in tears in the middle of the road had I told her that Crowd1 had shut down. What made me terribly shocked was that a scheme like Crowd1 could secure an office in a university environment. That is the first lesson to take away from this video. Nothing can serve as a substitute for your own research into any company you want to invest in because fraudulent companies can go to great lengths to look legit. Clearly, Crowd1 had an office at CEC and when Crowd1 crashed, they quickly emptied the office and fled. Again, the CEO of Pinkcoin, Omatade Sparks, has been declared wanted by the Economic and Financial Crisis Commission EFCC in Nigeria. He made away with almost $100,000. And this money is investment of people who are struggling financially. We did a review of Pincoin recently and I will drop a link to that in the description box below and in the eye above. In that video, we rated Pincoin 25% where 100% represents safe to invest and 0% represents do not invest at all. I think it's safe to say that it's a bad idea to invest in any platform with rate less than 50%. Now keep this in mind, our rating does not measure whether or not you will make money from the scheme. Of course, a couple of people made money from Pincoin. Crowd1 and other Ponzi schemes. What our rating actually measures is how legit the income from the scheme is and the risk involved in investing long term. So far, only two investment schemes reviewed on this channel have made it past the 50% mark. These are Chimo and Stick Exchange. I will leave a link to both in the eye above and in the description box below. Back to my story. I told the woman that I didn't know anything about the Crowd1 office at CEC. As I went home, I made up my mind to make this video. One of the goals of this channel is to create awareness. A lot of people are getting scammed and it's really sad that the people getting scammed are the ones that need the money the most. I encourage you to share this video with your friends and loved ones and encourage them to subscribe to this channel. When you get on board, if there's a company you want to invest your money in and you're unsure, please drop it in the comment section of any of the previous videos on this channel or send me a direct email and I'll respond to you as quickly as I can. Most of these schemes prey on people who are desperate and want to change their financial situations as quickly as possible. But the truth is that good things take time and anything that promises you quick money or promises you money without work can almost be written off as scamming. If a scheme has no products or services, that's almost a sure sign that you are dealing with a Ponzi scheme. Plus, if it promises that you can double your income in a very very short period of time, then that is another dead flat giveaway. Warren Buffett arguably one of the greatest investors of all time, was only able to double his investments once every five years. It took him almost 50 years to attain the billionaire status. So if someone is promising to double your money once every year and you start with $100, that means that you can be a millionaire in less than 14 years and a billionaire in less than 20 years with only a one-time investment of $100. And that doesn't sound likely to me. Get this. I'm not saying that it takes 50 years to become a billionaire. Of course, there's Mark Zuckerberg. All I'm saying is that achieving wealth through investment does take time and experience. So if someone is telling you they can double your money in a short period of time, it is most likely scamming. I can't be too sure, so do your research. And if you are in doubt, at worst, invest only what you are willing to lose. If you made it to this point in the video, leave us a like, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.